Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Cheney with Red Carpet Report. Tonight we're in Hollywood for the season three premiere of the Santa Clarita Diet. Well, congratulations on season three. It's so exciting. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You got a little bit of lip gloss there from your honey. Do I, do I really? <laughs> I was, and it's so funny because I was going to ask you, you know, we're all rooting oh, no, for your for your sort of romance with Abby uh, in yeah. season three. And I want to know um, how much into your own life can you take sort of romance advice from your character? From Eric? Yeah. I mean, well, Eric uh, historically, I think, struggles with the romance side of things. So I'm not sure how many takeaways there are. But I think there are takeaways in uh, his kindness and his goodness and uh, how well-intentioned he is. And there, those are certainly things I take away, for sure. He's so charming, though. Yeah. Girls love nerds. Girls do like nerds. I know. I know. And, uh, yeah, I guess... Uh, yeah, I mean, Eric, it's, it does start to go better. I mean, it, it, with with, uh, with Abby and also with Ramona in, in season two. So Eric's not always striking out. He's doing okay. Um, but I think that more with Eric and Abby, it's more, uh, I think that their, their relationship has evolved and grown a lot. And it's kind of bigger than that whole conversation in a way. They're, they're such a support system for each other. And uh, that's kind of been, uh, at least for me, a really cool evolution to see throughout the three seasons. Just the stuff, the stuff with those two. Well, speaking of evolving, you know, are you starting to notice any, any similarities between Eric and your and your own life? Like, are you sort of how are you like or how are you dissimilar from uh, the evolution of your character to your own real life? I think uh, I think there's takeaways for everybody in Eric's journey, just kind of uh, being pushed outside his comfort zone and having to be in situations he never could have dreamt he would be in, but being like stoked to be along for the ride. And uh, I think that that's an easy takeaway for everybody, just to kind of say yes to all of it and, and go for it and do that thing that you didn't think you wanted to do or had the courage to do, and you'll be happy you did. Well, we all get to see season three in just a few short hours, I think yeah. midnight tonight. Yeah. Um, what are you most excited for fans to see in season three? I mean, it's I'm excited. There, as funny as the show is, there's just a lot happening. I'm, I was always just I would marvel at uh, how much plot there was for a show that where you're laughing every like you know 10, 15 seconds, but where they're not like writing for the jokes, they're writing plot. So there's a lot happening, and I'm excited for people to see this. The stakes are really high, and Abby and Eric are facing a lot of trouble, and 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 Sheila and Joel are I mean always always facing trouble, and uh, they got a lot of stuff going on. And in the past seasons, I feel like the four of them have been tied in a lot together. And this season, we see Abby and Eric kind of dealing with stuff really independently, which is cool because they've grown and they're not necessarily as tied into the adults all the time. And uh, I think that both both journeys separately and together are just bigger and more intense than ever. Yeah. Well, how is it working with Liv? Is she as a co-star and as a friend? How is it to work with her? She's awesome. I mean, Liv is a really, really good actress, and she's super funny and and super sweet. And and this season especially, there's a lot of like. More emo not just emotionally charged and vulnerable moments, and, and lived so great with that stuff. It never felt like jokey. It always felt really real, and like if it was funny, it was funny, and if, if it wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be. And I mean, we we had an awesome time together. And she's, I mean, she's a great person and a, a really really good actress. Yeah. Well, I know you're a super busy guy, but in your downtime, is there anything on Netflix that you are binging? It's a good question. I yeah. I well, The Bodyguard. My girlfriend and I just watched The Bodyguard. Holy Toledo. That's the best show ever. I mean, I never like, you know, get starstruck, but we were at uh, some type of Netflix event and we saw that guy, I forget his name, but we saw him and we were both like, oh, and she was like, you got to introduce us, introduce us. And I like tried to, but I was trying to be cool about it too. And at one point I was like, but then he kind of turned the other way and I was like, oh God, but if I ever see him again, I'm going to be like, dude, we're both in love with you. But uh, no, I love, we love the bodyguard and uh, I felt like I watched something else recently. I don't know. Yeah. Well, just one last question. You know, are you starting to get? You must be getting recognized on the street left and right. How are you dealing with the with the fans? You guys have had such a huge presence in the last season. Are you getting more and more fan encounters? Sometimes it's never crazy. It's like maybe like you know a handful of people over the course of a day, and it's cool. It's it's the kind of show that like people who like this show, I've I've learned really really like it. No one's just like, oh yeah, Santa Clarita. People like love the show and love these characters. So it's cool because people like it's more than just like, oh you're the guy from the show. They're like, you're Eric, and so it's cool to uh, see that excitement with people and, and the enthusiasm and uh, those experiences are always awesome and really the show I've been surprised that like I so just like it it reaches everybody I mean like kids my age older people like it seems like everywhere I've gone I mean I've gone like surf trips in Mexico and like gotten recognized there and like and, and I, just like traveling around it seems like it's cool to just see that the shows kind of reach everybody and uh, everyone digs it and uh, that, that's been awesome yeah well congratulations I can't wait to see season three yeah thanks so much appreciate it 
Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more interviews just like this. Okay, so I gotta ask you, would you do it? Would you let someone bite you to become undead and live forever?